Hi, welcome to LabVIEW tutorial for for loops, part one. We're going to make a sine wave with using a for loop, and the sine wave will have a full cycle, and it will be sampled. For example, we can sample it using 100 samples and get a nice looking sine wave, or we can sample it with 10 values and get kind of a chunky looking sine wave, or 5 values and get kind of a a terrible looking sine wave, for example. We do this using for loops. And so I'll show you how to make this. So control N as a Nicholas to make a new document or new virtual instrument. And then control T as in Thomas to tile the windows. I'll grab on the user on, on the block diagram side, I'll go to the programming structures for loop create a for loop and then we need to wire the n that's the number of the times the loop must iterate right click create control number of samples and then now what we want to do is calculate the sine wave function. So go down to programming, mathematics, elementary functions, and sine. And we want to do only one full cycle, regardless of how many samples we do. So we have to do a little bit of arithmetic. So let's grab a divide symbol. And we want to do a full cycle, so we need, we need a 2 pi sine. So we can go in that numeric area and find math constants. Oops. Let me go back. It's up here. 2 pi. So 2 pi divided by our number of samples will give us the incremental x value we need to use. So we'll go up to programming, numeric, multiply, and then now we use the second box of the for loop, which is the i, which is the current loop iteration starting from zero. So it goes from zero up until n minus one. So I multiply that together, so we need to multiply this by 2 pi divided by our number of samples. And that goes into the argument for the sine function. By the way, if you ever want to know what the sine function does, just select it, say Control H as in Harry, and it will show a help box. And um, the output is in radians. So we wired it out. It goes, this wiring through loops is called tunneling. And as a default, it indexes, and that'll become a little bit more clear later, but it basically just collects all the values. Let's say, for example, we did 10 samples. We'll collect 10 values and then collect them as a 1D, 1D array it becomes a thick orange wire. We want to look at those values using a graph. So right-click on our user interface side, graph and double click on the graph to get over to the block diagram to connect that up and that gives us a sine wave and that's it and we can get our nice and smooth sine wave or very chunky sine wave so save this file and then open it up so you can use it for part two of this tutorial